Hello boys and girls, Lord Hawkeye here again. Yeah, no vids for a while and then I get two in a row. I'm on a roll here. Anyway, this was a thought that was prompted when I watched a video by the, by a fellow by the name of Frank, some number, I don't remember what, and it doesn't matter, I'll just call him Frank for, for um, the sake of simpleness since I'm going to assume that's his name. He wrote an anti-libertarian rant. I'll provide a link if you want, but don't. if you're going to watch this, I'd suggest heavy alcohol before you do. It's nine minutes of a grown man whining. I mean, I kid you not, it is every bit as painful as you'd imagine. And throws out every insult, every insult he can think of. Never actually makes any real points in it. Well, no, no, actually, actually that's, not, that's not quite true. His one, the one point he makes in the whole thing is that libertarians are out to oppress him, to force him, to force him to see things their way. Yes, they're out to force freedom on you. He actually, he actually basically implies that with a straight face. That should give you an idea of the, how much thought's gone into this, gone into that rant. Good gravy. And uh, the other one is that libertarians are a cult. The cult of Rand. Yes, everyone knows everyone who disagrees with him must worship Anne Rand. Stereotype much? Idiot. Anyways, it just gets me thinking. A lot of um, people who bash us are atheists as well, so at least we have some common ground. Now, if you are an atheist, Frank, or if you're not, I don't know, think of something, think of some other example of this. Think back to the last time you pointed out immoralities to atheists in the Bible. Things like um, genocide, murder, torture, rape, and all those nasty things you see in the Bible. You remember when the religious people would come back to you saying, Oh, you took that out of context! That doesn't count! And blah, 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 blah. Remember how irritating that was? Remember thinking, how can you just how can you just ignore that? I mean, these are really serious things. You can't ju you can't just blow it off and claim to be on the side of morality. It doesn't work. Well, consider this. You go on about how evil capitalism is. Well, let's see. When's the last time a war was started by a free enterprise with no government assistance? I mean, look at all the wars right now. At this very moment, the United States is in a war. That it was that it's already been well established was illegal. It was not. It was they didn't go through the proper channels. The reasons they went into it have been proven to be bogus, and they're still in it anyway. And the people responsible are going to get away with it. We know this. There is no use denying it. And I'm assuming you're from you're from Britain. I, if I'm wrong about that, please um, correct me. But. Your government is involved in it. Is involved in it too. They're help. They're not only not only are they not morally condemning the U.S. for this. They're helping. They're helping them. So obviously your your government is completely okay. Is completely okay with them killing people in other countries just for political reasons. And that's what war is. It is killing people, which I'm sure, if you're even halfway sane, would agree is immoral. So. For all your moral platitudes here, for all your talk about decent, pe decent people and how, be how bad they are and all this sort of thing, you understand that you are supporting an institution who engages in murder gets, and gets away with it, makes no effort to go after their own when they are guilty of murder. Me giving it, which makes it clear that their position is murder is totally okay when they do it. And you turn around and saying that libertarians are the bad guys because they called you some nasty names on YouTube and called your friends some nasty names on YouTube? That's the position you're going with? It's like when, when, when Christians go on about, you took that out of context, when people bring up all the horrible things God did, it's the same thing right here. How is this any different? We bring up the government that causes wars and, and them, all these other things, all these other bad things they've done, and you people blow it off. You've got nothing to say about that. I mean, you're all self-righteous whenever you find anything some private firm did that was wrong, and yet there, is, seems, there seems to be no wrong in existence that a government can do that you would ever morally condemn them for. I mean, if you morally condemn the bad things your government has done, you sure as hell could have fooled me because I've looked at some of your videos and your utter silence on the matter is just deafening. So... What's the st what's the story here? Do you think do you think murder is bad or do you not? 
You can't pick and choose. No more than no more than religious people can pick and choose what parts of the what parts of the Bible. If you say the Bible is the holy book of God, then you have to accept the whole package. You can't pick and choose. Likewise, you can't say, "Oh, there's some good government, there's some bad government." No, it's the same people. The people you say, "We need these people to run our healthcare and do all these nice things." These are the same people who wage wars with a clear conscience. You can't ignore that. <laughs> I don't I don't know how much more simple I can put it. Like in short, when a private firm nuclear bombs two cities and gets away with it, then you can come back and and mule and whine and cry about how evil capitalism is. Until then, shut the fuck up. You have not got the slightest clue what you're talking about. <sighs> Unbelievable. So that's the le that's the lesson of the day, boys and girls. You can't if you if you think if you don't like it when Christians pick and choose what part of their whole what part of their holy book that they adhere to. Don't then turn around and pick and choose what aspects of government you think are totally necessary. If you support one, you support the other. End of story. Until next time, be aware and be wise. Oh, and Frank. Grow up.